Neil Armstrong, the first man to walk on the moon. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Neil Armstrong's moment on the moon in July of 1969 united people back here on Earth. One in six of the planet's inhabitants watched him utter these immortal words. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. He was 38 years old that night, and he and his crewmate, Buzz Aldrin, spent well Here's over two me. hours tromping through the lunar dust, taking pictures, collecting samples, and hoisting an American flag. Airman from the planet Earth, first set foot upon the moon, they came in peace for all mankind. Neil Armstrong was born in small town Ohio, took his first plane ride at age six, and was hooked. He got his pilot's license before his driver's license. He flew missions in Korea and then joined the space program. After his moonwalk, there were ticker tape parades. The mission was a win over the Soviets and a big boost for a nation mired in Vietnam. But Armstrong, a quiet man, a self-described nerd, quickly retreated to Ohio where he taught college, lived on a farm, married twice and had two children and only rarely spoke publicly. There are great ideas undiscovered, breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers. There are places to go beyond belief. His last interview was this past May with Australian TV. I thought uh, we had a 90% chance of getting back safely to Earth on that flight, but only a 50-50 a chance of making a successful landing on the first, first attempt. There's so many unknowns. Armstrong said his biggest disappointment about the moonwalk was that after it was over, he never once had a dream about it. Hmm. Neil Armstrong died of complications from heart surgery. He was 82 years old. In a statement, his family says the next time you see the moon, quote, think of Neil Armstrong and give him a wink. Mm.